Pacey 6 fam. So, I thought today I would give y'all just a little insight into my makeup application. I am in no way, no way whatsoever a makeup expert. However, I do know I've been privy to had have my makeup done by professional makeup artist often and so I've had a lot of tips that they've given me throughout the years and very recently my daughter's in the realm with a lot of makeup artists and just different tips and things one thing right now I'm putting a serum on before I put my makeup on and how you start your your canvas per se makes such a big big difference in the outcome and this is what i know about myself is when i just even when i do a dash out the door i pretty much do a dash out the door look even with a dash out the door look i am um look so much better with a little on now my daughter's going to say mom you're showing them how to use that wrong I like to use a beauty blender, but what I do first is kind of get my, I use a CC cream, get my CC cream all over my face, and then I'll go back and blot it like you're supposed to. But first I just kind of get covered up because I have a lot of red undertones in my skin. So this neutralizes those. So this is what I use as my main foundation. What I love about CC cream is it can even be used like if I'm in the car driving. Like it's so easy to apply and it really matches the color of your own skin. So it's enough coverage for me to cover up any redness, but it's not too much where I'm really, really made up. Now, if I want a little of a more made up look, I'm going to let this dry first. If I want more of and i'm going to get my nails done today y'all today i broke two last night at the baseball game so don't judge me um, but i am getting those fixed today but if i want more of a made-up look i can um layer that i can let this dry and put a couple layers on and then it gives you more of a finish when i have had a shower i've got to go and just brush my lashes to really just dry them. I mean, they're soaking wet right now. So just to get them dry, I just kind of brush them out. I am, stay tuned. I am going to be showing y'all. And um, y'all are going to get to meet the most amazing girl who does my lashes. And she is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, but you're going to get to see a little bit of that process soon, probably on my next lash appointment. I've had some requests for that. So I do my eyeliner first because I like to go back and smudge. Oh, so I'm going to go ahead and put my liner on. And I used to just go halfway. That's what I was taught my whole life is to go halfway. And recently, well, a couple of years ago, I was doing some videos and a makeup artist told me to line all the way to my corners that I already have really um, great eye, a great eye area for the makeup to go on. And so give, to give myself that almond shape that my eyes are, and I can do that by lining all the way in so you can see the almond shape so see i never knew that i'd been doing my eyeliner wrong for the last 25 years but i'd always been taught to go halfway and that opened up your eyes well guess what y'all my eyes are already open <laughs> i've got big eyes so i need to um give my show off the almond shape of my eyes so that was a little tip i got the next thing i use is i like to use a cream eyeshadow as my base 
if I'm going to the lake or the pool, I just put this on and this is my shadow for the day. But I put this on first because I want it to dry before the rest of my eyeshadow goes on. So this one that I use is absolutely awesome and um, holds my eyeshadow on all day, but can also just be the only color I do if I'm just doing a mom day or a pool day and I don't really want eye color on. That's what I'll finish up. Now, something else I've learned this last year is filling in my eyebrows. I've never done that either because I was naturally blonde. So I just thought I have blonde. God gave me blonde eyebrows. So why on earth would I make them brown? And um, I know eyebrows are a big trend right now. I personally feel like they're going to be trendy and then they're going to look totally different in 10 years from now. So I don't want to look at myself 10 years from now and go, what was I doing? Because I do that a lot with jewelry and other things that at one point I wore and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I ever wore that. But um, so I just fill mine in. My daughter actually taught me to do this and a makeup artist that she's best friends with, who is phenomenal, by the way. Um taught me how to just fill in with eyeshadow my own brows and give me I have a good natural arch if you don't have a natural arch you want to make your eyebrows arch just a touch so they're not straight across so I basically just go over my hair on that's already on my face now you don't want your eyebrows way out here so you don't ever want to go past that eye that's something else that and makeup artists have taught me and just helped me to look a little bit better. So everything I do is just quick, like that's already done. And then I like to go back over with some translucent powder and go into this eye area and just lift that up. I have an incredible makeup mirror. Oh my goodness. If you ever want to know, just ask me in comments. I can tell you where to find it. Um, these makeup mirrors are incredible. We actually have two of them in our house and my daughter had them in her studio and people just love them. And then I go down the center of my nose also with the translucent powder. So that just gives me a little bit of light deflecting properties under my eye area. I don't have a lot of darkness in my eye area. I'm lucky with that. But if you do, that helps. But also just to brighten up, I think as we age, we just need that in our eye area. That's what I'm finding. A lot of these things I used to not do that I do now and um, because I didn't need to. I was younger, but I'm finding young girls love this. So then I go ahead and use a highlighter right up by my brows. I like sparkle. I know y'all are shocked. Fancy. So I like my um I like a little bit of sparkle up there and I feel like when I use not a matte and I know matte's super in, my daughter wears all matte, but I like to have just a little sparkle up there by my eyebrow and then I'll go in with a contouring color and let me just look here to do this and just go along that brow bone and what that does is just accent that brow bone a little bit and give you a tiny bit of definition and the key is to go back and blend and blend and blend and blend. You don't want straight lines. A girl that taught me to do makeup when I was really young, we had like straight lines on there and that's not good. You want to blend all that in. And so it's just like a shadow of pretty color. And I always go back over with translucent powder, back over my eyeshadow and use a really good blending tool to blend everything in and that's pretty much an eye look that I do now this is just for an everyday if I want to spice it up because I'm going on a date night or something I'll go back and add like a goldish right here and you see how that just gave me a little bit of extra nothing major but a little bit of extra and then sometimes if I'm feeling extra golden I'll put that up here as well and you can see how that raised up my brow 
as well. So see the difference? And it's done. I mean, that's how easy it is to do my eye makeup. I'm literally a 10 minute. I'm spending a little longer today because I'm telling, I'm showing you how to do all this. But I am literally a 10 minute put on my makeup out the door person. I used to do my mascara at lights. And Waverly can tell you it would take me three lights to do my mascara. So sitting at three lights, I could have my mascara on. So I like to use a lash primer. That's what this is. And um, again, I'm on the way to get my nails done when I get done here. So just wanted, I thought this would be a really good day to show you this because nobody's in the house today. I do go back over my liner and get it smudged. And I just like to use a dark color of eyeshadow, whatever scheme I'm going with for the day. And get just a little more accented in. But that's pretty quick and easy. And then once that eyeliner, um, once that lash primer dries we're going to go back over it with um mascara but i'm gonna let that dry real quick and i'm gonna go ahead and do my contouring i like to contour my cheekbones i don't want to get injections and all this weird stuff so i just use makeup to do it so i use a dark color right underneath that cheekbone and it's going to look like a line, but then you've got to blend it in. Sometimes on the on my videos, I'll notice I didn't get it blended good. And I'll have to go back in and re-blend it um, when we're filming our vlogs. So that's just a little tip. I go back. But you want to blend everything. But that just makes your cheekbones stand out. So you do that dark color first. Then I do whatever cheek color I'm wearing for the day. Today I'm going to wear just a super neutral. And I do that on my cheekbone. And I start up and go down. I've been taught for your blush to frame your face. So that's what I do. And then again, go back and blend, 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 blend. And then, oh my gosh, I've been using these illuminating drops that are absolutely incredible. They are they come in three colors. There's a gold and a pink and kind of the ones I use. There's kind of a um, neutral. Today, I'm going to do the gold. And I just dot that on. And I was scared of these at first because they're a liquid. And then my daughter and my son's girlfriend were like, no, 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 no. You are going to love these. So... Then I just get those on, get that blended, which there's a lot of light right there. It's not going to look like that when I get done. I'll show you. I've got light shining off my face on this camera. And then I take that as well and go down the center of my nose. And this is just a contouring tip. Super easy. No big deal. Done. Done. And then I go back with a bronzer. I like to use a bronzer. I'm a sun girl. When you're blonde, you can get super washed out easy. Um, but I think lots of people can get washed out. And so I go back over all this with a kind of a goldish bronzer. And then, and make any comments if you've got questions. And then I go along my nose. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm going to put my, oh, I've, I'm going to do one other little highlighting tool. And then let me show you what this actually looks like with a finished product. So yeah, y'all comment with questions under this tricks on Tuesday video and I think you're going and um, to love the easy application of makeup I mean I'm pretty much done I am going to do a highlighter on top I am going to go ahead and line 
I keep all my lipsticks right here in Caddy, so I've got choices. But I go ahead and line. I've been blessed with really full lips. And you want to make sure that you line whether you have full lips or not. But you want to line on the outside of your lip. And especially if you have smaller lips, it will help your lips appear a little fuller. Oops. And then, hold on, y'all. Okay. And then I'm going to, I love Amber Glow. It's one of my favorite, just neutral everyday colors. I wear it probably every other day. Y'all have seen it on most of my videos. Oh my gosh, it's my absolute favorite. And then I do a lip gloss on top. I know not a lot of young girls don't like the lip gloss, but I like glossy lips. Shay likes me in glossy lips. So let me just show y'all. There is, there I am just with full finished Y'all see? Look. So it's a pretty big difference. You saw this was 16 minutes because I was telling you stuff. I do this in 10 minutes. Anyone can do this look. Anyone, anyone. I'm no big whatever. I'm not some kind of professional makeup person. Professionals have taught me how to do this. So y'all, this is so super easy and Ask me questions, comment with questions. Don't forget to subscribe. Y'all, it doesn't cost one thing to subscribe to our channel. It's free. Just go subscribe and you're gonna get more videos like this. You're gonna get more of my life. Don't miss it. Thank y'all for watching. I hope that helps some people today. Y'all have a great week.